really funny story about probably the most disappointing face I've ever seen from my dad in my entire life. This took place a couple years ago. This is before I evolved past the caveman level of heating up extracts and quartz bangers. And you know, at this point in 2023, there's a lot of really experienced people out there that know what they're doing, how to keep the quartz clean, the Q-tip tech. But back then, you know, listen, I wasn't a shatter samurai. There was mistakes that were made. And when mistakes are made with quartz, it gets chazzed. If you don't know what chazzed bangers are, it's where you just blast it with a torch instead of cleaning up with a Q-tip and it just gets all cloudy and gray. Makes the taste not great. And basically I didn't know what I was doing. I thought that was the correct way of doing it because I think I remember seeing it on a custom grow video back in the day where it was just like, yeah, just blast it with a torch and get the residual off. And I thought that was it. Really quick before this video starts, this video is sponsored by me, all right? My company, snazzysesh.com. If you guys are into HHC vapes or gummies, check out snazzysesh.com. There's a new flavor on the website, Apple Mac, with terpenes derived from that sticky icky. No botanical terpenes in this one. It tastes way more like the plant. I personally love it the most out of all the flavors we have on there. I can't put the link in the pinned comment of the description, so I'll put it on screen, snazzysesh.com. Thank you for the support. Enjoy the video. So this is right when I was really getting into dabs. For the longest time, I didn't even have a connection to even get dabs, but I finally found a plug. After years of not knowing where to get it, this was before I had the med card, this was before I could find it anywhere. I used to find them in high school, but I lost connections with a lot of those plugs because they moved off to college, moved away. So for a couple years, it was dry. The river was dry. There was no dabs to be found. The dab river was dry. And finally, dude, the holy grail. The plug was like, I got you, man. Just let me know any time. So I was like, all right, come on over. Let's take a couple and I'll buy some from you. He comes on over and this was the middle of the day. Dad was at work. So I'm like, all right, you know, instead of going into my messy room, all right, I don't know if you guys remember my old room. It was quite a mess, all right? I used to just have piles of clothes on the bed behind me, and I kind of just cover it with a top sheet so you couldn't really see it. You knew it was there, but you couldn't really see it. So my room looked like it had been through the Wizard of Oz, so I decided to go into the living room, set up the rig, the, the dab tool, just everything we needed. Big shot blazer torch, dude. I had all the, everything I needed except Q-tips and alcohol. But So he gets there, he sits down. And we're just talking a little bit. He's showing me what he's got. It smells pretty good. You know, one out of 10 is probably a 6.57. I don't know how I remember this, but I think the strain was either GMO or garlic cookies because it had that real like garlicky smell, like kind of like if you found a dead hiker on a mountain and took his socks off, gave it a good whiff, you know, it had that smell to it in a good way. And I, you know, listen, he was a guest in my house. So I was like, hey, you could take the first dab. So I hand him the rig and he, he just, He's looking, he's, he's, he's giving the ocular pat down on this banger. He's seeing the condition of it, the battle scarred banger. And he's like, man, do you have any other bangers? And I'm looking at him like, why, what, what's wrong with this one? And he's like, dude, that is chest. Like that is beyond chest. You can't even see through the bottom of it, man. And I'm like, well, what's wrong with that? And he's like, dude, it completely ruins the flavor. It's just not ideal in the nicest way. Like he wasn't mean about it. He's just like, dude, that is messed up. Like, you got to get a new banger. And I just so happened to have a new banger in the other room. So I went to the other, I went to my room, got the new banger, which I already started to chaz. Like, it had like, you know, three or four, three or four dabs through it. And it was already starting at the bottom. <laughs> so he gave me the Q-tip tech in, in, during this conversation. After we took dabs, I remember getting way too baked because I hadn't taken a dab in a couple of years. But during the process of changing the banger from the battle scarred banger to the field tested banger, I placed it on the coffee table and then just got annihilated. I was 10 out of 10 faded. I, I bought the stuff from him. He left. It was a good time. And then at that point, I'm like starting to get a little paranoid, dude. There's haze in the living room, dude. At that point, I'd never even blazed in the living room. But I was thinking, all right, it's dabs. Like it's not gonna, it's not gonna smell for that long. I'll open some. I'm opening all the windows, turn fans on and stuff. I, it's not like I'd even get in that much trouble. I was just in such a paranoia state of mind. I'm like, dude, I don't want him to know. So I got all my stuff, brought it back into my room, and continued the day. It was great. 
right? Had dabs. I was taking dabs all day. So I grabbed all my things, went back into my room, probably recorded a video or played some video games or something. Had a great day. Didn't think anything of, you know, what went on. I, I'm pretty sure I got the smell out of the living room. Everything was good. And it was probably six, seven o'clock at night. My dad comes home and he sits down on the couch where the coffee table is. Where else would a coffee table be? Imagine having a coffee table in the bathroom. And I remember this, this altercation, this moment that, that, that's leading up to this in the story, the best part of the story. It was right after I took a dab. And like I said, the tolerance of dabs was low. I took a big one. I was, I was obliterated. I was annihilated. I was feeling like I was in a video game level of baked thought process, sounded like Captain Price yelling at me. Listen, and my dad comes to the door, he opens the door, and I have never seen such a straight face. It was like his face transcended past the plane of existence of any possibility of disappointment to just pure concern, pure shock. Like it looked like he was shaking, shaking in his boots. What is this? And he holds up the quartz banger that I left on the coffee table. I grabbed all my things, but this quartz banger, I put it next to his pen holder on the coffee table. So it kind of blended in, you know, like I just didn't see it. I was just so baked. I couldn't see it. Just forgot it there. And he walks into my room, holds it up with the straightest face humanly possible. What is this? And I'm just like, oh, oh I just, I do dabs with that. And he looks at me like, no, this is different. What is this on the bottom of the, what, what is this? Look at me straight in the eyes. What are you doing? Are you doing something more than weed? Or what? What is this? And I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you, it's just just for dabs. Like you know, like I, I do the blowtorch, and I kind of like I kind of demonstrated how the dabs work. Like I I started heating up the 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 bang like the newer banger in in my rig, and that just brought him over the line. That just made it even worse. I mean, I feel like anybody over the age of forty doesn't really know what dabs really are, unless they're just like really into, you know, really into it. But me demonstrating that just made the situation 10 times worse. He's just like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I knew this day would come. I warned you in high school. I knew that one day it would be the gateway, dude, the gateway drug. I knew one day that you'd move on to something else. I'm so disappointed in you. Like it almost like, it's almost like his eyes were tearing up and I get up and I'm like, Dad, Dad, I promise you, like, I swear, look at me in the face and I'm, I'm blasted, dude, I'm blasted. I am in no condition to be trusted, no condition to have any, to be, to be telling anybody anything remotely looking like I'm telling the truth. And he's just like, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe you. Listen, listen, I can't believe it. And I walk out of my room, follow him into the living room, like trying to, my hardest to explain to him, like, dad, I promise you, it's almost better than consuming the flour because that's dried plant matter. You know, it's bad for the, you know, it's harsh in your throat, harsh in your lungs, makes you cough a lot. I do really low temperature dabs. It's okay. And he's just like, there's nothing you could tell me right now to make me feel better about it. There's no, just, just nothing, nothing you could do. He's just like, I don't even want to talk right now. Go back to your room. I don't even want to talk about it. I go back to my room and I'm dying. I couldn't believe, I don't know what to say to him. I don't know what to say. Like, what can you say in that situation to, to calm them down? My dad's over in the living room, stressed out, thinking I'm smoking crack in my room. So what I ended up having to do is I went on Google and I found like all the articles that made dabbing look good. And I was sending them to him left and right. Didn't work. All right, he's just like, I don't trust that source. If it's not on CNN, I don't trust it. And for like a week or two weeks, he constantly would be like, you're not still dabbing, are you? Like, you're not doing that anymore, right? Like you stop doing that. Like, it's really bad for you. It's burning your lungs. And just literally nothing that I would say to him would even take two steps back from me smoking crack. Like that is literally what he thought I was doing. And to be fair, it really looks like you're doing something else. Like you got a big blow torch, heating stuff up to like red hot temperatures. And, and the one thing, the one thing that finally brought him, not to his senses, but gave him enlightenment that it actually isn't that bad was a coworker of his, which was a friend of mine that we dab all the time. And he was just like, you know, listen, it's really not that bad. You know, as long as you're not doing it red hot and it's low temp, it's, it's really not that harsh on your lungs. And it's, it's just another form of flour. You know, it's just another form of consumption. It's not a big deal. For some reason, his opinion 
was way more important than mine. It was my, my, anything I'd say was completely invalid. The disappointment doesn't end there though. It just doesn't end there because it still took me a while to get the Q-tip tech down. You should look up how to keep your courts clean with, with Q-tips on YouTube. If you don't, don't do it yourself. If you're hitting the Chaz banger, you deserve better than that, buddy. All right. You're wasting it. All right. You're wasting it with the Chaz. Do better. Do better. I had a very, very sensitive fire alarm right in my room, right by the door. And every time when you just blast the quartz with the torch and the residue, it would just start coming off the quartz banger and it would slowly trail up to the ceiling, go over to the fire alarm. It would be going off the whole apartment. Because once one fire alarm goes off, it's an array. All of them go off in the whole apartment. Dude, I used to wake up my dad at two in the morning by accident doing that. Like I would, I would be heating up the torch going, blowing, like trying to get it away from the fire alarm as, as best as I could. Didn't work. I used to open my door, be like, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. He'd be like, whatever. The disappointment was unreal. I can't even express to you how important it is to keep the courts clean. It, it makes your banger last a lot longer. Cause like after, you know, a couple years abusing it, it's going to get chased eventually. But like you can really add a lot of time to the life of the banger if you keep it clean. I'm not just some snob. Well, you know, I guess now, nowadays, if you, if you don't have the alcohol and the Q-tips, it's just like a disappointment. You know, it's like, oh man, I'll take a dab, but it's like, all right, you, you're kind of wasting it, man. You're wasting it. You're not getting the flavor from it. So anyways, let me let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Do you keep your courts clean? Do you have any funny stories of getting caught dabbing by your parents? I still, to this day, I have never seen such a straight face on my dad's face. Like, like he, he really thought I was in my room blazing down some rocks. Anything I would say to him, completely invalid, like, didn't believe me. All the trust straight out the window. He still doesn't like the idea of it. I mean... What parent would, to be honest with you, like it just, it looks crazy. It really does. And I'm glad that there's things like puff co's and stuff now where it's you know, monumentally less, less sketchy, you know, doesn't look, doesn't look nearly as sketchy, way more discreet, no blowtorch action. It's not as good as hitting it out of a rig, let's be real, but it's good enough. All right, gets the job done. Thank you to everybody supporting me on Patreon. I'll put a list of all the names on screen right now. Huge thank you for your support. For a dollar or two a month, you can support my channel and get access to 175 plus videos that are usually 30 to 40 minutes long. Question and answers where I'm having seshes, going on bike rides, nature vlogs, that kind of stuff. I have a lot of fun making those videos. The support really helps me out. My YouTube stats have just been going down, dude. Very disappointing to see. Not sure what YouTube's doing with the algorithm. I might make a whole video kind of talking about that because just like the state of YouTube, the state of my channel, because honestly, I'm kind of clueless as to what's going on. I might have to pump out a bunch of shorts that are kind of uh, promoting the long form content. So if you guys see a lot of short spam in the near future, just know you listen, you know. Just leave a like on it. You don't even got to watch it. Just leave a like and help me out, man. All right, thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for spending the time out of your day to watch my video. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below if you have any funny stories getting caught dabbing with your parents and they think it's something else because it really does look outrageous. Comparing to just rolling up a doob or something or getting a nice little Sherlock going, it's on another level for sure. And it's like, it's understandable. Understandably, it looks crazy. But in reality, it really isn't. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe with the bell on to be notified for future videos. Stay high, stay lifted, stay snazzy.